Hello, so this is Greg with MyoBrain, and I'm gonna do a short video showing you a couple of the features that I think are lesser known about TrueCoach, including some of the stopwatch and timer features. So it's kind of hidden, but it's up here in this top right-hand corner, we see a little stopwatch. I'm gonna show you some of the favorite ways I like to use this feature. So the most common way I will use this is in a rest period of something like a strength movement. So for example here, let's say I have five sets of three, uh, the bench press and resting two to three minutes in between sets. What I can do, come up here to my timer. You have a stopwatch, timer, and interval. I will typically just put the kind of lowest, to be honest, time that I have set for myself. So I'll come in here and type a two minute rest period, and then I'll click start. The really nice thing about this, it counts down, but I can come out of the app. I can go log what I did. I can text somebody, whatever. I can do whatever I want to, and it'll either ping me when the time is complete, uh, or obviously you can go back in there and you'll see kind of where you're at in the timer. So it runs in the background, which is super nice. So again, me personally, that's where I'm using it the most. You obviously can use a watch or something like that, but I want to let you know that is baked in to the app. The second thing you can use it for is something like a conditioning piece. So say this is a uh, 30-minute continuous circuit. This has a bike, some complexes, some ab work, some rowing, some burpees, and some more ab work. So you know here it's a 30 minute AMRAP. You can read through the movements, see the equipment you'll need, etc. When you're ready to kind of go, obviously you can you know look at your movements here, make sure you understand what you're doing. But click up here again in that clock, you can click timer and just click 30 minutes. And again, that will count down for you. It's obviously a long workout. You can leave the app, you can go do whatever you want to, and then just roll through this, obviously for as many sets and reps as possible in that time frame. Again, you can use a watch if that's more convenient for you, but this is baked in. And the last thing I think can be helpful for is something like the interval section. So I don't personally use this a ton because I do have a smart watch, but you can use it um, if you like this feature. So let's say you, you have something prescribed here like a body weight knee push-up. So we have one minute on, two minutes active rest, okay? So I can come up here and I'm gonna be doing push-ups for my work period, go into interval, working time, one minute. That rest period will be two minutes actually forgot to look how many sets. So it looks like three sets. Let me go back in. So one minute on, two minute rest, three sets. And again, this can be a really simple way just to document it. So I'll click start here. It'll give you a nice countdown. And say if I'm doing push-ups, maybe you're doing an assault bike, maybe you're doing one minute on, one minute off of assault bike, some cyclical stuff this can be helpful for. It has your work period in here. You obviously can chip away at that, write down you know, the reps you got, the calories burned you got in that time frame. And it's all kind of just baked in, right? So again, this is another kind of cool feature there. Uh, probably a little bit more for conditioning work rather than for strength work. But there is some times we'll, where a coach here will prescribe uh, something like, again, one minute on, one minute off push-ups uh, into a strength movement. Again, I won't go through this whole thing, but you will see it would then switch over to the rest period. It will go in gray and you kind of can just again, use the interval section there. So hope this is helpful. Uh, the stopwatch here is what you'd assume it is. It's a stopwatch. You can use that similar to a timer. Uh, I don't personally use this for, for too many things. I'm usually either counting down uh, a workout, uh, either conditioning piece or obviously tracking my rest period there. You could obviously track your rest period here, but I tend to just push my rest periods too long if I do that. So I prefer the counting down method so it pings me in case I'm doing something else, you know, uh, texting somebody and forget I need to keep my keep moving on the workout. So again, hope this gives you some good insight on how to use the stopwatch, timer, and interval section within TrueCoach.